by the end of the video we should have our name displaying similar to this so let's get started this is where we left last time we if we would i would connect i would press the play button i should connect to a room and this was just the basic thing that we did let's let's first go to our script in our menu script we said max player equals to 2 so only two players will connect uh, from let's let's first do a few uh, few improvements i would like to give reference to my button i'm just making it a serialized field Let's say that when we press the button, we don't want the player to keep keep pressing it even while we are connecting. So it's not a good practice. Let's just do that intractable equals to false. So player won't be able to tap anymore when this function will be called. And if we get disconnected, let's just do play button dot intractable equals to true so intractable is just a uh, just a field just it's a boolean provided in provided in our button i'll just give it a ref, give it the reference so i'll drag it on top in a play button let's test it out so as you can see if i'll press it I can press it again. We made a resources folder under which we uh, we have our player game object that will be getting instantiated. So I want to make it a rigid body. And in our player script, in the script, let's multiply it with time dot delta time. And let's give it some speed. Let's test it out and see if everything's working fine. Okay, this looks much better. Let's make our play button public to get rid of those errors. And I'll test it out again. Okay, now it's fine. The errors are gone. That's great. Okay, so next thing we would want to do is we want to show our name on top of the player. So for that, in the main menu itself, I'm going to make an input field. So in our canvas, Let's make a UI and input field. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna align it on top of the play button. Right, in our input field, we have a placeholder that shows some text. So we'll say enter nickname. Now this would be this uh, we made this input field so we can take player's name and we can show on top of every player. So now let's go into our main menu script. Okay, this is our menu script. In this itself, I'll I'll be giving reference to our reference to our input field. We'll be making a public function. Uh, it's not important for it to be public because what I'm gonna do is in start itself, I'll say 
input field dot on end edit so over here we'll be calling our function that i'm just going to make void set name it will take a string and let's just say set name so now we'll have this function will will be called when player will enter his name or press anything else with his mouse in our set name let's do photon photon network dot nickname equals to s okay that's that's all we need to do let's also say that when the let's say uh, let's also save this name in the local memory of our input field so what we'll be doing is player prefs dot get string string key and just say nickname and over here we can say player prefs dot set string nickname this is our key and the value would be s so this is good and now we just in the start we just want to say one one that our input field by default should have this name so input field dot text equals to i player prefs dot get string okay so everything looks good let's just try it out for let's enter our nickname okay i i didn't give reference to my input field in our manuscript let's provide our input field okay now let's type a nickname but yeah so we have this unity jedi our name is getting shown so everything is working fine but let's just take this player out this game object that we made for our player let's make a canvas okay ui canvas and a text field so go to the canvas and say world space okay so let's reset the values of our canvas and now we can show this text field on top of our player you all can use text mesh pro instead of just text i'll be applying all the changes to our prefab and i'll delete this so now we have a at canvas we have a text field on which we'll be showing our our name so let's say serialize field transform canvas now let's do using unity engine dot ui and now we'll be giving reference to our text on which we want to show our name so our show name 
would be equal to canvas dot get child zero zero is just the index of what child we would want so if you we only have one one child object in our canvas which is our text so zero now let's get component in this child object text now one more thing we need to do is bring reference to my canvas so in this observed component in our photon view if you saw last time we gave reference to our photon transform view which was re which is recording our position and rotation so if i happen if i happen to add another slot and i drag my play script you will see that i i can't record anything in my play script so for that we'll need to make an interface which would be ipan observable and now let's go to quick fix and implement interface so you should have this public void on photon serialize view i'm going to take it and keep it at last so let's save our script and now if i happen to happen to drag my play script you can see now now we'll be recording things the things that we'll be streaming so this to stream dot is writing because we would want to send our name to all the other other clients that we get connected with or all the other players so we'll just do send next and we'll be taking our show name dot text show name dot text we haven't yet set the text for our name but we'll be doing that in a moment show name dot text equals to string stream dot receive next yes so before we stream this text that we have uh text that we have under our show name we also need to set it i did few tests and i checked that th this shouldn't be start because it wasn't working fine with start so let's make it awake awake gets called before any frame uh and let's take our show name on top and let's say if local player equals to null then let's set the show name dot text equals to photon network dot nickname okay we already set this photon network dot nickname in our menu so it will let me just show you photon network dot nickname so it will just return that value and our show name should have that text now this text would only be shown to our player to our uh, that's why we are streaming this same text to, to other players that we connect with okay everything's done okay so there is another thing that we need to do
for that let's make a boolean let's say stream name what stream name will do is it will say if it's true if it's if stream name is true only then we want to stream our name and over here we'll be making it false so because we only want to stream our name once uh, whereas if we won't be doing this it will be streaming every second and that's unnecessary and it's not a good practice so we don't stream it every frame let's set our stream name's default value as true now let's go let's save our scene and build and run now when we'll connect to a room you should see the name thing is working we have a name tag on top of our player each player have their name that we set in the main menu so before you guys go i just want to show you guys that we'll be doing the same thing for our health so for player's health we'll make an integer and set its default value as 100 so that would be our health now so the other players can also see that health we'll be streaming it and receiving it and will be shown to all the other players that get connect gets connected so thank you that's it for the tutorial please do like share and subscribe thank you